pointing it upwards. That's what she said. Please don't include that in the vlog. No. <laughs> Let the feast begin. Hey friends, and welcome back to another vlog. Another day, another vlog, as Jess and Gabe would say. Um, this morning has been good, had a bit of a late start, woke up at 9, only really started work at uh, around half 10. But actually, from half 10 until now, it's now 1. Basically, last two hours, I spent just bashing out a bunch of words for the first draft of chapter 2 of the book. And I managed to write 3,900 words in the last two hours, which is like the most productive I've ever been. And I think what it basically took was, as a lot of writers say, turning off the editing part of my brain and just sort of thinking out loud on the paper. And the weird thing about that was as I was thinking on the paper, it's like my thoughts were forming and I came up with some new insights. And this is the thing that all the writers say, they say that once you just start writing, you will come up with insights, you just have to keep on writing. And I just found like myself like just like bashing away on the keyboard and the words are flowing and it was great. And I'm feeling awesome, it's wonderful. And I kind of want to continue, but it's like, it's been a couple of hours, so I want to sort of quit while I'm ahead. And so Gwilym and I are going to be going to, are going to grab some lunch. And then we are going to head to the studio for a YouTuber Academy meeting slash hangout with the team. So super productive morning so far, and we'll see you in a sec. Oh, right. So change of plan. How do I reduce? There we go. Change of plan. We decided to walk instead because it's a nice day and we thought, you know what, let's go for a little walk, get re-energized. Good times all round. How are you feeling, Willem? Feeling good. The camera is really close to my face yet again. This is becoming a theme of the vlogs. Indeed, that's how, how we roll, my goodness. I need an ND filter. Anyway, just heading over to the studio and then we've got our YouTuber Academy meeting, so it should be fun. Hello, hello, hello. 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 Uh, hello. Hello. Nicely, uh, nicely ironed t-shirt for today's, um, today's vlog. Iron t-shirt? Mm. Are you supposed to iron t-shirts? You don't have to. I don't I believe in ironing t-shirts. But I could wear my little hoodie. Could do. Or you've got the uh, Reed Wise. Reed Wise sent hoodies as well. Oh, and a t-shirt. And uh, my god, we have so much. Oh, this is sick. I like zip black hoodies. This is some good stash from our partners. <laughs> At Muz, sadly, cuts are not sponsoring us yet. Sadly, Ralph Lauren are not sponsoring us yet. But Readwise, been a partner for a while. Ralph Lauren again, and The North Face. People at Ralph Lauren, if you're watching this and you want to sponsor the channel, let me know. That would be nice. They're filming The Apprentice, but they're not telling us they're filming The Apprentice just over there. How do you know they're filming The Apprentice? Because I just took a picture of Karen Brady and she didn't look happy. Really? Yeah. <laughs> we might have to like like be back when he says The Apprentice. We can do what we want. They're filming The Apprentice next door. <laughs> but we're not, we're not supposed to know that, but it's really obvious because like the cast of The Apprentice is literally there next door. And they have these fancy cinema looking TV cameras and people in suits and- And Karen Brady. And Karen Brady. I can't wait for the, uh, we, need, we, need to, we need to get her on the podcast. We need someone who's got good social skills. She's still over there. She must be still there. No. No, but I had to, I don't have good social skills. Look at that big. Why don't we have such big cameras? Why do, Why don't we have such big cameras, Gordon? Uh, I mean, I could buy them. Sure. But then my budget was cut in half by Angus. Why did Angus cut your budget in half? Because apparently you need paid. Yeah, well, all of us got cut. Apparently, apparently, apparently. I have a major dilemma, you guys. I never know what I need to order for lunch because what I don't have is some default meals on Deliveroo that I can just, without thinking, just like go for and trust that they're legit and healthy and nice. And there's always so much this like decision fatigue that sets in when it comes to figuring out what to order from takeaway. Anyone else have this problem? Yeah, I think the solution is for you to write down every single meal and then have it on a giant, like a wheel of fortune, which you just spin. <gasps> Yes. Every single lunch and whatever it lands on, that's what you order. This is actually a great tip. This is a tip we're including in the book, but not in that context, but I should in that context, called the dopamine dice. Because like the way our brain experiences rewards 
It's like the unpredictability of rewards is what makes them enticing and what makes us motivated to do things like slot machines are unpredictable, bingo cards are unpredictable, social media is unpredictable, you never know what the notification is going to arrive. As soon as it becomes predictable, the animal in the Skinner box stops being interested. Therefore, what you do is if you want to reward yourself, instead of saying, when I complete the X, I will, I will get Y, you say, when I complete X, I'll roll a dice or spin a wheel and that will dictate what reward I get. And then you never know. Oh, and you're sort of keeping yourself surprised. Um, and treating yourself like a little rat in like one of those cages that electrocutes them. And that's a good way to be more productive. What if, what if you, just, you just fancy a burger? Yeah, I was thinking I want to get five guys today, but I thought no. Why is that? Because I checked in, actually this is good, but what I did was I checked in with my body and I was like, I'm actually feeling pretty light and clean right now. And I know that I will become on the grim spectrum once I have a five guys. <laughs> grim spectrum. Five guys right the grim spectrum, the GS. And so if I'm gonna be on the GS after a Five Guys, then that would be bad. Um, therefore, I want to eat something clean. I feel like sushi never puts me on the GS. But if it's fried stuff with lots of oil, then I just feel a bit heavy and shit afterwards. Anyone else get that? It's just so intimidating. <laughs> it's not that big camera, come on. Like, those are big cameras over there. <laughs> oh, by the way, if you're watching this in the vlog and you would like, like, we're working on a course about how to be more confident on camera. So if you have any questions about that or anything you'd like to see in the course, please leave a comment down below and we will add it to the course lesson structure. We've got about like 30 or 40 lessons in there at the moment. It's quite a lot. It's gonna be lots and lots of filming. It's gonna be fun. And we're gonna teach people how to become more confident on camera with real life examples. You know, yesterday when I went home to St. Albans to do my grandma's hearing thingy appointment for yesterday's vlog, link down below. As soon as I walked in the door, I'd seen my brother for the first time in like three weeks because he was abroad. And he was like, oh bro, you're looking hench. And I was like, oh yeah, it's made my whole week. <laughs> so then you were like, reward yourself with the five guys. No, I don't believe in rewards. There's a good book by Alfie Cohn called Punished by Rewards, and it's all about why rewards are actually really bad and a bad way of motivating kids and people and stuff. Okay, so here we go. This is our little uh, brainstormy of how we're gonna revamp the course, the PTYA, the Part-Time YouTuber Academy, this time around. And yeah, it's gonna be lit. Okay, so. Update. It is now 3.40 and we are, hello, focus cancel, taking a little 20 minute break to do some thumbnails and to do a little wee wee time. And it's been a very productive session indeed. So we have basically gone through all of the content for the first three weeks of our course and we have chopped it up into various different keynotes and we have figured out what the supplemental material that we're going to record is, what all of the video clips are, what all of our kind of worksheets are going to be. And then we're gonna put all the worksheets and stuff together. Because what we're trying to do for this cohort is be very, very kind of systematic in our curriculum design, which we have been in the past, but over time, over the last five cohorts, the content has swelled and swelled and swelled to the point where it's very, very overwhelming for our students. And now we're like, okay, cool. Now that we've done that divergence, let's do the convergence. Let's figure out what is the content that I need to, de I need to deliver in our weekly keynotes. And then what is the content that we're gonna be giving in our seminars from Elizabeth and from our guest speakers. And what is the content we wanna deliver in our workshops with interactive elements. And then <laughs> what is the supplemental material we wanna record for it. And also what are the worksheets that we want, we want, we want people to do. Awesome. So it's all very, very, that's it, yeah, <laughs> just, yeah. just that. So it's all gonna be, again, pretty overwhelming. Overwhelming is probably the wrong word. Um, the kind of analogy that we're sort of thinking about is like in medicine, when you're prescribing a drug, often you will give patients a loading dose of that drug for the first several weeks, for the first several days, so that it gets into their system. And then you can sort of titrate it down to more of a maintenance dose. And that maintenance dose is the thing that, it's a smaller dose that keeps them kind of ticking along. And so what we're aiming for in our YouTuber Academy is the five weeks of the course is the loading dose where we like basically give people everything they need so that they're probably gonna feel overwhelmed in those five weeks, but it doesn't matter because you know, that's kind of the point. And then for the rest of their kind of YouTube career, it's more of a maintenance dose of them just putting in the effort to do videos once a week or twice a week or whatever the cadence might be. So that is the stuff that we are, we are doing today. Now it's time for a little wee wee break. It's time to do some thumbnails for some videos with Gordon. So see you shortly. All right team, so I'm currently on a train heading home to hang out with the family and to have dinner with Sheena, Lucia and my mum and grandma this evening. But I've just been making some book progress here on the iPad. How many words have I written? I don't even know. I've just been writing in Apple Notes. One of the nice things I, write, I like about writing. One of the nice things I like about writing on Apple Notes is that it just sort of reduces all the pressure and it makes it feel like a very kind of low, kind of chill environment to write in, where I can just like do stuff without without feeling as if I'm writing in a Google Doc. So it's feeling pretty good. I've done several hundred words, and yeah, life is good. All 
Alrighty, I'm just chilling at home now. Got a call with my book editor, and then it is dinner time. Very exciting indeed. <laughs>